Hello YouTube, this will be part two of the engine swap video on these lawnmowers. So I got the Zvarna lawnmower, the all-wheel drive 221A lawnmower, and it was uh, it's a nice machine. But uh, the engine that was on there is the Briggs & Stratton 625 EX engine, and uh, yeah, it hit, the crankshaft hit a log and bent. I've replaced it with a Honda GCV 160 engine. Now, this is gonna be on the more technical side of things. Just want to uh, let you know what happened. So, it has three bolt holes that line the Honda up, and there's three that line the Briggs and & Stratton. And they lined up, they matched up. They're about the same diameter. The screws are different on the Honda. They are metric threads, fine threads. On the Briggs & Stratton, they are SAE and coarse threads. So you can't take the bolts from the Briggs & Stratton and put in the Honda. It might start fitting and then you're gonna strip, so don't try it. Uh, the Honda bolts are back there with the original ones. Crankshaft is uh, the same length, luckily. Uh, or maybe it's, uh, it's a few millimeters off, but it's pretty close. The diameter though, the Honda engine's a lot thicker. I think it's a 7 8 diameter and the Briggs & Stratton is a 5 8 They don't match up, the pulleys don't match up. So when you're taking the pulleys off, don't take it off that one. I took it off the Honda and I used a pulley puller and kind of stupid of me, but I did. And uh, I pulled the pulley itself off of the shaft. Off of, it's like a adapter plate, uh, that whole adapter with a pulley on the end and it, it pulled the pulley down on it. So I needed to take it off, take the adapter plate off, knock the pulley back down, and then I, I welded it back into approximate position where it should have been. Uh, it's a bit crooked, but it, it works because this belt, it's a lot thinner than the belt that's on the Honda's, that was on the Honda engine. Uh, well, not a lot, but it's a bit thinner. So it doesn't fit in the pulley exactly, but when you adjust the tension, you can get it to move properly. Um, besides for that, everything went well. The bolts came out. I spilled some oil and some, some gas came out of the engines, uh, especially the Honda, because uh, it's what happens when they're turned at angles, when you uh, have them upside down on their sides and whatever. Um, I replaced the spark plug, I replaced the oil, and now the engine is running good, and the machine drives nicely, all-wheel drive works, it really pulls, it's a really nice machine. It takes two to three pulls to start it, but it's better than the half a pull that was on the other one. And again, it's a really nice machine, and uh, yeah, with this new Honda engine, hopefully it will last maybe 20 years. As for the frame of this one, it's a frame, it's a bag, it's a discharge chute. Everything I'm selling it as a thing for 25 bucks, maybe 20 bucks for the uh, the whole lawnmower. Because, you know, just the bag is $10, $15 when, you, when you're looking for the bags and stuff. Um, yeah, I could always just throw it out like a lot of people would, but I'm going to try to make as much money back as I can on it. And uh, you know, a lot of usable parts on it. I could give you the blade from the Husqvarna. It's also the blade, because I used the same adapter, I had to use the blade from the Honda engine, which actually was straight anyways. This blade that came off the uh, Briggs & Stratton engine, it looks almost okay. I mean, it's supposed to have a bit of a curve, but it's a bit mangled. See, this side is pretty much how it should be. And this side is a bit bent. But it's not terrible. Anyways, just for balance and everything, I have the Honda Blade on there. And uh, it's going to be a nice machine now compared to what it was before. And I can sell that, and I'm going to part out this engine into a bunch of parts and, uh, and either use them on other projects eventually or, uh, sell, or sell the whole engine. I'm probably going to part it out because what I do with carburetors and stuff I have a good carburetor I spill all the gas out and I just keep it there that way if ever I need one in a pinch and I don't need to spend half an hour cleaning one out I can just take the good carburetor the same carburetor and bolt it on and good to go and then uh, the air filter is trash on this one it's a foam filter but it's covered in oil yeah it's gonna take long to clean the recoil is good on it and uh, any other parts this one might need but like but it's the rest of the engine is basically gonna be scrapped but this lawnmower it's worth it's worth the money now because it's a good running as far an all-wheel drive lawnmower and uh it's got a honda engine on it doesn't look doesn't look the best at all but 
it's gonna work. Anyways, if you wanna make more YouTube videos, comment below.